football coach at Mississippi State. And, Coach, I don't know that there's any way to uh, to slice this one. Tough weekend all the way around. As you sit here on Monday kind of thinking back through the weekend, where are your thoughts uh, about your team and where they are right now? Um, we have to improve. That's probably the biggest thing with us right now is we got to get better. And um, there's areas, I mean, in this weekend, you know, we can finish the game on Friday. We got a great opportunity to win. Um, and we play well enough to win on uh, Saturday if we drive in the runs. And we just, we have areas of the game that we're not playing well in right now that we have to get better at. Coach, one of the, one of those areas is definitely you're hitting with, with runners on base. We've all seen the numbers this weekend. You left a lot of guys on, on base, especially in scoring position. Had, had a couple of, of situations. You mentioned that Saturday game where you had a runner on third with less than two outs and, and weren't able to bring them in. You know, just from a coaching perspective, how, how do you get better at that one facet of the game? You know, we're going to have to work on it, probably drill it and do some work tomorrow. We'll be out early. We're off today, but we'll be out early tomorrow to – to get some work on it. And you don't want to over overwork it because then you start thinking about it too much. But we had not Friday night. Friday night we had in the seventh inning, we had second, third, no outs. We don't drive in the runs. You know, so that piece, and it just gives it gives confidence to the other team, especially coming into our house and our big crowds. And um, it lets that other team feel better and better as the weekend goes on. And, you know, we talk all the time about taking the crumbs. And we've, we've been – historically a great program at just taking the run and getting the run in or move the run over and uh we haven't done a good job of it lately is that if, if i gave you a magic wand i guess and said mm-hmm. you can improve one thing about this team today is is hitting with runners and scoring position it or is there another facet of your team that you would like to see get better immediately i'd probably say our bullpen you know and i, I feel like you know in some ways we're getting closer but um you know, I want to hit with runners in scoring position, too. Don't get me wrong. I'd like to do both. Uh, give me two wishes. But uh, I think, number one, just for the psyche of a ball team, being able to finish games and finish games late, we, we've, you know, that, you know, when you lose Friday night the way we did, it's just, man, it's, it's a gut punch to everybody. And, it, you know, it's, you know, you got to be able to finish the games that you're supposed to win. One positive from the weekend for me was the performance of Brandon Smith. He came in on Saturday in a, in a, in a tough situation and was able to give you every opportunity to win, win the ball game, kept LSU in check, just gives up the one run. Is, is he going to be a guy that you need to look at now to add to that weekend rotation, especially when you have a short week coming up like this? Yeah, he's a possibility. I mean, we got to look at it right now. we got to look at everything. So we got a couple other guys also, and – we got to see how he balances back because he just threw the most pitches he's thrown in three years, you know. So um, we got to take a look at him and see where he's at. But he's definitely an option. One thing I was going go ahead, Richard. If you got yeah, questions. Chris Lamont is head baseball coach at Mississippi State, visiting with us this afternoon. I, I'm curious what the balance is when you get to this point in the season. And obviously, there's plenty of baseball still to go. But the balance between being a head coach and, and being a psychologist, I mean, you, you pointed to it a second ago. You, you want to get better in an area, and you go try and drill that, but you don't want to do too much of it because you don't want to get in guys' heads. And baseball is such a mental game. How do you balance all that? It's, it's a tough balance. I mean, you got guys that are, uh, you know, you know, fighting the game or the game's fighting them a little bit and you're trying to help them get out of it. And it's, you know, usually it's a pitch at a time or a, a walk or a flare lands for you and um, trying to get some guys right. I just, you know, in in the environment that I'm at here, and I probably was a lot harder coach before I got here, um, and the, these guys are under the microscope. And so for me to be the pressure creator, it, it's, it's not a good thing. I, I got to help them and and know that we believe in them. We got to coach them. We got to coach them hard. But we also, our job is to help them have confidence. And uh, when they play with confidence, they're they're a lot better team. Obviously, and baseball is a game that you see a big difference in that. And, and we have a lack of confidence or a lack of edge right now um, that we've had. We had the most confidence and the most edge probably for the last couple of years. And and right now we're trying to find it. And uh, as a coach, I got to help them out in that area. So, so tell me more about that, of, of you being a more a harder coach or a more difficult coach previously than, than you find yourself being now. Well, this was, when I say previously, I'm talking like the Citadel and Louisville and places like that. As a head coach, I probably haven't been as 
as hard, but kids are different than they were 15 years ago. You know, it was yell and scream, and they didn't show up. We ran them, and, and those type of mentalities, that's not the world we live in now. You know, we have to coach them, and they, and they got to know we care about them, but they also got to know they got a job to do. And so there's a there's a fine line in there of what that is, but it's just not like it. You know, when I played, our coach was, you know, it was us against him. That's really not the mentality that you see, you know, these days. So, um, you know, and, I, and my coach was a Hall of Famer. I mean, my coach was, you know, coaching Omaha team at the Citadel and was a really high, you know, coach, good friends with Coach Polk, but, but he was mean. I mean, he just, he was hard on us and he made us tough. And, um, you know, you, you don't see that as much in, in this day and age, they, especially at a place like here or in the SEC schools. It's, I think that's one great thing Coach Polk did all those years is he, uh, you know, he coached them and, and he prepared them, but he wasn't, you know, he wasn't putting the pressure on them. They, 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 they go out there, they know what's at stake and they know what's on the line. And um, the, these kids, we have a great group of kids. They, they just got to, you know, we got to play better. I've said it all week. We got to play winning baseball. You got to finish games at the end of the game. You got to move runners. You got to get runners in. Um, and, and I really truly believe we have a good ball club. A lot of people tell me I'm crazy, but I, I still believe in them. Coach, I actually decided to, to play fan yesterday, and I sat out in the stands. And you, you mentioned the big crowds. Obviously, the attendance was good all weekend, but the atmosphere to me felt a little different. It felt apprehensive at times, whereas last year and, and in 19, it felt like people in the stadium they knew that the team was going to pull it out. Whereas this year. They're not. They're not as sure. When you're sitting in the dugout, do you, do you feel the same atmosphere? The 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 dude effect, as it's so often called. Do you still feel that in the stadium? Oh yeah, we still feel it. I mean, that crowd on Saturday was unbelievable. It's, we talk about it all the time. We talked about it in the past. The problem with the the crowd is you got to give them something to cheer about. And when we're not offensive, usually it's offense, right? You hit a ball in the gap. You steal a base. Jake Mangum beats out an infield hit. Like, you create the energy, and then they take it, and they blow it up is what our fans do. We're just not doing a good enough job of giving them enough to cheer about. I think that's one of the biggest things. And then, like I talked about with bullpen, you know, everybody's sitting there saying, "Uh uh-oh, you know, like, and I have to get my team past the point of is we have to believe in everybody that we send out there. And uh, because last year when that gate opened and Landon Sims ran out there, everybody knew the game was over. And um, we got guys that got good stuff. They're just not trusting it right now. And we got to get better at that. But our, our fan base, I mean, this weekend, I even said it to our coaches, it's a shame. We have such unbelievable crowds and we're just not playing well in front of them. It, it's, a, uh, it's a responsibility that, man, we need to do a better job of. You mentioned your, your bullpen and, and, and how those guys have played. And, and it felt like Jackson Frisco was moving forward, felt like, uh, Mikey Tepper was maybe taking a step forward, and then and then you have the weekend that you have where both those guys had their issues. Who are the next guys that you need to look at here in the bullpen? Who who can who are the guys that you feel like you can trust at this point? Well, I think we're getting Casey Hunt to a point where, um, you know, he's getting to a point where he can get the three innings and 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 pitch at the end of the game and comfortable. You know, the last couple you know last couple outings have almost been like rehab start. So. You know, I think he's a full go now. I think Jackson Fristo is, and, and fans will be mad. I'm running back. I, I just believe in him. It's too good of stuff. And I saw him beat Memphis, and I saw him beat um, Arkansas, at Arkansas, with bases loaded and 10,000 people screaming against him. Um, and we don't, you know, Brooks Auger has, has been really good for us this year. And Pico Khan is a, you know, really good option for us, left-handed out of the bullpen. So we're going to have to use them all. And, and we're going to have to lean on them. I mean, it's, uh, you know, with the injuries that we had early, it just, it, it's, it's put us in a situation where these guys have got to pitch and help us. And even Mikey, Mikey was really good in the midweek. So we got to get, we got to get some work out of Mikey there. Chris, last thing for you, uh, Auburn coming up this weekend after a, uh, a midweek game. We talked a couple of weeks ago about the fact that it's all just kind of jumbled right now. There's still not a ton of separation. Do you point that out to your team and say, look, don't worry about the standings, but here they are. We're not that far off. Well, we don't, we don't never talk about the standings, but like I just keep telling the guys, it's the, the league itself is just, you know, the positive if you're at a lot of other schools, you may have to win your conference tournament at this point where we're at. And in our world, if we just win enough SEC games, we'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a tough road ahead of us, but um, we know we haven't played our best baseball yet. And if we could get out there and, and play better, it's, it's just, you know, we control our own destiny. Even, you know, even at this point, even after a bad weekend, we go and play well with Auburn and, and 
get some wins and just keep trying to win in the league and get our momentum going, we'll be fine. I, I think our kids really understand that, um, you know, more than, more than in other places that if you fall behind, your RPI goes bad. Here, you know, every RPI we play on the way out is 20 and in probably. So um, you're, you're going to be fine in those areas if you win games. Got to try and figure out a way to win those games. Thanks so much. As-